Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 63 in chapter 32. Chapter 32 is about light reflection refraction. So now we have two rays A and B travels on a fiber. The fiber's diameter length and index N1 is given. And we know the ray A travels a straight path, and ray B travels internal refraction, totally internal refraction. So we're giving you this rule. They are giving you the keyword critical angle each time. So that means each time it's a uh, totally reflection, right? And determine the actual time delta t takes for b compared with the ray a. So we can see uh, we need to find this delta t. And delta t the takes is the time taken for b minus time taken for a, right? Yes. And then first one we look at the b. So the time takes for B is the is the distance it travels for B in the X component because we just look at X component, right? So the distance it traveled in the X component is L and then divided by the speed in the X component, right? So how can we determine the X component? We can see this angle is given as the theta C critical angle and in this triangle, in this triangle we know the speed, it, the light travels in this index, we can see it's a V. And uh, project this V in the X component, so it becomes a V times the sine theta C. So for the ray B, so the time taking, we just look at X component. This is L divided by V times the sine theta C. So we write it there. And now we look at the ray A. For ray A, we know the Distance it travels in x direction is L, the speed it travels is V, right? Now we need to, we can just uh, uh, solve this equation, we look at it there. For V, we don't know yet. For L, we know it's given. For sine theta C, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we can look at sine theta C. We know it's a critical angle for the ray B, right? For the critical angle, we can say in we can write down snail equations. For snail equations, see the light travels n1 sine theta c equal to n2 sine 90 degree, right? Yes. And there you can see n1, do we know? Yes, it, it is given at there. So now this one is given. Sine theta c, do we know that? We don't know, but we need to solve it, right? N2 in the first cases, it tells us it's surrounded by air. So by air, tell you N2 is 1.0. So this one is given sine. 90 degree is a constant. So in this equation, we can get sine theta c at there. Now sine theta c is solved. We look at the V. V is the speed travels in this fiber. So the speed is the speed uh, in the space divided by the index for this uh, fiber. So C divided by N1. Now we input V and sine theta C inside. We get the equation look like this one. And input all the given quantities. You can get the answer there. And the second case is very similar. The only thing changes is the fiber is surrounded by another object. And this object is glass. And the index for the glass N2 changes to 1.460. So very similarly, you just change N2 as 1.460, you get the answer there. Thank you.